Hey guys, it's Zach Nichols here again. It's been a long time and I honestly I fell back into a pattern of uh, lust and you know a little cognitive dissonance. And uh, I recently learned what that was. I always heard it from a buddy of mine. He always constantly threw in it a lot of his phrases. And um, I, I looked it up, I really looked into it. It's the strain or tension you feel when you perform an action that you know that is not the right thing. You know, your mind knows an action is wrong, you perform that action anyways. So there's tension that forms in your mind. And to relieve that tension, you, you rationalize things and you justify your actions. You know, for example, for example, you might say, well, I'm on a diet, stick to this diet, I'm gonna lose weight. Well, then you go eat ice cream and you're like, well, you know, I can have a cheat day. And that I can have a cheat day is how you relieve some of that tension. And so I've been trying to relieve that tension as well. But um, we don't negotiate with terrorists. We don't negotiate with, you know, people that ravage our minds and our spirits, you know. I think I'm just gonna obey my convictions. And lately, I've uh, I opened up to a a girl and a couple guy friends I know about, I just let them have it. I said, you know, I'm a, I'm a sex addict and it's not as cool as it sounds. <laughs> and, uh, and by telling more people about it, they're willing to open up about it too because I've had friends come back at me like, yeah, I, I, same here, buddy. You know? and so I tell them and they can hold me accountable. And it's, it's all about accountability talking to your friends like that, opening up. Um, because then how much of an ass are you going to feel like when you go back to that kind of behavior? So, see, you got to stick with it once you... I'm on the road watching out for you. <laughs> Again, as always, don't... Don't try this at home, kids. Just... Fine, I think the most when I'm driving. Or in the shower. I, or running and I can't <laughs> can't do a video while I'm running or in the shower so but yeah um, so people that are stressed out a lot I, I believe for me it's all about cognitive dissonance because that tension that builds up from doing things that you know to be wrong and I'm like why am I so tense I'm a happy guy life's good but it's it's from that it's from uh, giving it into temptations that may or may not be wrong but I believe them to be wrong and because I believe them to be wrong and I go against that belief it's just grinding away let me make this turn real quick actually on my way to church the girl that I've been seeing has been she's uh goes to a catholic church off and on and she doesn't like the way the old school way of things you know they're Catholic Church is set in tradition, so kind of averse to change. You know, times have changed, so that I think the church should change a little bit. So I've been going to this contemporary non-denominational church called Sierra Vista. Big church, beautiful place. You can dress like this, you know. Just, so it's nice. You go in, you feel welcome. There's no uh, strange, you know, eyeballing if you come in looking a certain way come in with a certain person it's come as you are like it should be and they even sell lattes in the lobby you know that I feel like hey I'm gonna pay tithes I might as well buy a latte too so big music big full band the pastor's funny the pastor's big I don't know it reminds me of Liam Neeson for some reason he's awesome but on the way there now and I just wanted to talk to you guys about where I've been and what's been going on I mean now I'm just uh it's summer I'm just working day shift, which is good for my soul. It's refilling my spirit because I've been... <clears throat> working nights has drained me, like I said before. Working days, I could be a person. I could be contribute to the team during the day when things are really going on. You know, real crises happening and I'm helping problem solve, even if it's just basic problem solving. And then clock out and go enjoy my night, so that's been helping a lot 
Also got the green light to go back on nights, but only for the purpose of school when school starts back up. So as long as everything is aligned with my goals, I'm happy. And, uh, and as long as my behaviors don't, allow, you know, don't make me stray away from my goals. What do you guys think about this cognitive dissonance? I don't want to say theory, but I guess you can't really prove it, so maybe it is a theory. What do you guys think? you think a lot of the tension we feel day to day are from personal convictions about things we do or do not do? Like if I know I'm supposed to go to the gym and I just sleep in and watch Netflix and I beat myself up like, man, didn't even go to the gym today. That, I think that uh, those convictions build up. They accumulate in our brain. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know a personal story if you care to share. And uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Sorry I've been gone for so long.